Okay, ready. Hello, my creative friend, Olga Sobi here, and welcome to new acrylic print video. So what's gonna be happening today? I wanna create a painting with a really rich, vibrant violet color palette on a deep uh, Windsor violet base. And I wanna use my hoops to mask out and sort of separate the negative space from the rest of the flow. Something similar to what I do when I embellish some of my flows with a stencil to create beautiful textured mandala effects, like in these pictures. But today, um, instead of adding anything inside, so I'm not gonna be embellishing with stencil, at least that's not the plan. I wanna keep those areas empty and just use them to mask out sort of my flow. Let's see how that turns out. So let's get started. I added just some uh, violet inside of my hoops and I'm gonna have violet as well inside of the flow, but I don't want it to be right next to rings to create more separation. So right outside, of, right outside of the rings, I'm gonna add other colors and yeah, this is gonna be, and this is gonna dry super dark, almost black color. I really love the depthness and richness of this violet. So yeah, let's pour some of it inside of the flow here. bit closer to my rings, I'm adding this uh, permanent magenta color. I almost always use it when I work with violet. It these colors, they just work like a perfect team together. <laughs> They're meant to be used together. And by the way, today I'm working on 20 by 20 inches canvas, so pretty big one. This one here is also violet, but this is different. It's oriental violet, it's much lighter and it's not gonna dry so dark and deep like the main violet that I used. So the overall color palette of this painting is pretty warm. So inside of violet, I use some magentas and I got some pinks and other colors. And as an accent, I wanna have cool color, the turquoise, so I think just trying to think where they want it. I think just this way. Just a small dash of it here. Next bright color is golden yellow. So it's yellow orange. I'll make good contrast with my turquoise. We'll also create some nice brighter pops of color in the violet, but I don't want to have as much of it. See, I'm only adding small amounts okay and the rest of the colors oh i think i got just some paint on myself did i tell me <laughs> okay and the rest of the colors i'm gonna add just a little bit here and there and everywhere so iridescent green blue to create nice lacing and nice metallic shine inside of the turquoise this is another iridescent color iridescent violet blue This one here is Queen Acridone Rose because most of the colors that I'm using are transparent and this one is opaque. So it will help me create some brighter pops. I do want to have some golden accents. So this is metallic gold. And finally some white. I love the center and it's almost in the center of the painting too. It's a beautiful accent. I 
I created a little more movement and more wiggly, wispy lines with my breath. And now I want to do some finger swipes and I see that pretty much all of my gold has vanished. So I think I'm just gonna try to get some gold back. So I wanna pour some right here. Before starting with finger swipe, it's very important to think through your direction of the lines and the overall composition. Because you want to enhance your composition, not ruin what's already on the canvas. I'm adding just a little bit of gold outside of the rings because I'm gonna spin my rings before I remove them and I think it will help me also incorporate some of that gold on the border between my negative space and the rest of the painting. So actually let's let's try it out. Let's start with a big one. This is great. Pushed a little bit too much of the violet off right here. I might need to touch it up when dry. Should have spent more. Didn't bring my gold all the way. Okay, the final one. <sighs> so cool. Do you wonder how the storm of colors looks dry? Yeah? Let me show you. The painting has dried really well, especially I love this area with turquoise. Now I want to do a couple of touch-ups. So first of all, I want to make those shapes a little more rounded. They're pretty rounded already, but there are a couple corners here that need just a little more paint to really finish up this shape. And another thing that I want to do, I want to make some of these golden uh, borders between my negative space and the flow just maybe a little less, because right now they are just too bold, they're too much. So I want to use the same violet, violet that I used in my negative space and maybe make them a little thinner and finer. And yeah, we'll see how that goes and maybe I'll do something else. So let's get to it. Whenever I do touch up, um, most of the time, like nine times out of ten, I use the same paint that I use for my fluid painting. So this is acrylic paint mixed with water. And when I extend any lines or when I do any new lines, I use fine brush and I really try to follow the actual shapes and lines in my base in initial uh, blowout or tilt or whatever technique that I did. This way, the touch-ups, they're not very noticeable, not visible, and they're just a lot more cohesive with the rest of the painting. Another thing is when you're doing the touch-up, always keep an eye on your edges, especially if you work on canvas and like your edges to be painted. Just make sure it's all nicely covered. Even though I painted my edges before the pour, my sides look pretty good, but there are a couple areas just here and there that require a little extra love. Okay, I'm almost done. I really like how all these sections, they're just more delicate right now. So last step that I want to do, I want to create a little more connection with all these golden veins inside of my flow. I kind of created them while the paint was still fluid, 
but some of these areas they need just a little more so i want to connect here here and and then just work all throughout so again using fine brush this time it's even thinner round brush and the same gold that i used for painting All right, let me show you the very final look. There you have it. It's all done, covered with a layer of glossy varnish. I wanted to have very thin, fine finish on this one. And I think this painting looks super interesting with this rounded negative space areas and such a chaos of colors inside. You know, these areas, they make me think of the doors to other dimensions or this beautiful web or something very mystical, beautiful feel of this painting. What do you think? Okay, and the question, do you like this layout right now or this one? Let me show you again. Number one or number two? Let me know in the comments. And a quick reminder that shortly, and it's gonna be next weekend to be exact, I will be offering fine art prints. Yes, finally this is happening. And I selected six of my best paintings and let me give you a hint, there will be one beautiful planet and there will be three a few of your favorites and a few brand new ones. You haven't seen them before. I prepared something really special just for you. So please stay tuned for that or you can head over to my website and subscribe to be notified via email as soon as the prints are available for purchase. What I love the most about this painting is all these golden veins and how they work throughout the whole painting and really connect everything together. I also really like this section right here such a contrasting bright pop of color and i love how this rounded shape is connected with the rest of the painting but of course the hero of this painting is this turquoise blowout it makes such a perfect focal point in this purple mystical color palette thank you so much for joining let me know how do you like the outcome of today's painting i would love to hear from you take care create with passion and i'll see you in the next one bye bye